Welcome back to Control. The end of the last episode, we were told, or asked by Marshall here, to clear out the lab where Darling made the HRA devices that everybody's wearing to protect themselves from the hiss. Uh, yeah, now there's gunfire over here. I think they need some help. But first... They'll be fine. Is there really nothing in- oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, that'd be very strange. Pierce zoom boost. Ooh, that actually might be quite good. Level 3. Zoom plus 15%. Yeah. 2% uh, better than what I've currently got. Hold on. Still more to do yet. I thought there'd be something in here. I think it shows icons for stuff in the stalls, even if you're not in the stall, even if it's behind the stall door. So, yeah, that was pointless. Just wanton destruction for the hell of it. I see rangers over there. We have to help them. Damn, that actually hit somebody. <laughs> Make it. I don't see any of them. No, I don't think they made it. I wonder if it's possible to save them. If I just acted too slow by, you know, going into the bathroom and going backwards into the shelter. Got him.
Ah. It's a lot of destruction. These don't topple over, though. Synchronous. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Okay. Synchronicity Lab seems to be a pretty small thing. Self-contained? Let's go. God, I love how destructible everything is. It's amazing. It looks gorgeous. Also, I love the Pierce gun. It's so good. This place smells like... Plot. It smells like notes, and I like that smell. Yoink. like a seismograph type thing, but it's printing something. It was, anyway. It's not moving now. That goes to a lower level, which then goes off the map. Those <laughs> security level six. Synchronicity experiment. As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The hypothesis was that by identically altering the decor of every room, and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the single, differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional, emotional turmoil as one clinically depressed member of the team. Uh, himself being located in the eastern part of something something. Psychological examination of the agents proved the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way we predicted. No, oh, so the synchronicity they're talking about is one person was severely depressed and the other ones became severely depressed. Are they... I can't tell if they're saying there's something supernatural about that or if it's just somebody who's miserable making other people miserable, which happens. They're all going except for two. Nah. There's, there's too many to shoot them all. They're all over the place. It's like a dozen in this room alone. So is that it for this place for now? Guess it's something we're gonna come back to. 
Not as many notes as I expected, just one. And that way is still blocked. I think it'll just lead to the main room. Let's continue on. Towards... I don't know what this place is called. Hmm. Nothing really I want to change there. Oh, wait. I haven't gotten the shelter. Threshold Kid's Proposal. Problem. With the recent arrival of the... There are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young... There are no other... The, 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 to play with, expected to learn about a frightening... About frightening new concepts. Hmm. Uh, that will require a slow, friendly introduction to paranatural topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce the Threshold Kids. A television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the Bureau. But also show the fun side of the paranatural. A budget would be minimal. I took a few puppet making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It'll be good for morale, and I guarantee we'll respond positively to these videos. I can't expect us something to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats, but as television has proven for years, something love puppets. Children love puppets, is probably what that says. Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young child, that's probably what it says. So they... Who... Who were they responsible for raising? Could it have been Dylan? How young were they when they were taken? Could it have been us? I love the reflections on the ground from those yellow lights. Ah, protective studies is where we're going. Must be an altered object. Altered item number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. So it's not known what it does, I guess. That's extra unnerving, isn't it? I 
can see a cloud of paranormal energy coming off of it. On down the creepy hallway, then. Now, wait a minute. What's on the map here? That doorway that we see there. That leads to that squiggly bit that goes kind of behind protective studies. Looks like we might be able to get there. And I guess get to the duck, probably, from the other side of protective studies. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. we're supposed to recreate it okay well uh, that should be easy enough but that seems to be where I need to go so let's go this way first what that's that's quacking isn't it shall I get there? <sighs> I can do this. Okay, yeah, that works. Oh no. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> However, perhaps... Perhaps I can just run through. Oh. Oh, I thought this was the weird stuff that hurts me when I get near it. That's so fascinating looking. Did this come from the artifacts? Oh, that is definitely quacking, I'm hearing. Uh. No going back that way, huh? It turned to look at me. 
It was facing that way before, now it's facing me. Uh. Okay, now we have an exit. Mm. Oh! Disappearing ducks. Fuck. Great. Scare the shit out of me. Even if it doesn't see me, it knows. Oh. Did I get it? I think zooming is the way to go. Dashing. No, I didn't get it. Oh, it's over there. Yes. Quacking. <laughs> okay, what is that thing? Containment procedure. Directly contact uh, direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety gloves are required when handling. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms a, a unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them, quacking often. This has led to a researcher named mm, entering cardiac arrest, though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected to the item's effect. So does it do anything? Or is it just annoying? Is it just an annoying duck? I think it's just an annoying duck. Unknown purpose. <laughs> I love it. Meh. Nah. Okay, so we're going to recreate the image. Oh, okay, I see part of the challenge. It's not just recreating... Uh, let me explain. So when I press up, if I keep pressing it, it does this. It like, alternates the up part between being filled in partially or fully. Same with the left and right. So those are easy enough to get correct, however the hard part is that the center always rotates every time you make a move, doesn't matter which way or anything, keep pressing up and it spins around. So that has to end up at the right point. So the top needs to be like that, and that needs to be like that, but this thing needs to be rotated twice over. Oh, the right one's not correct, still. Da. Yeah. 
You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? That's the only one not crossed out. Black Rock Prisms. Black Rock Prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range of something to something hertz with perfect something harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a something through a harmonized prism onto a something. Methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized resonance something in the prism will be explored and explained. So something about the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces. So that must be what the shelters are about, probably. And some of these super large stone heavy doors, like... Um, there were those huge stone things that moved up and down to control our access to... What was the place called? Right before we went to, like, the smoking maze or whatever. Those huge things, and then we walked across that bridge over the void. Those things. That must all be black rock. And I guess, I guess these are probably black rock, aren't they? Yeah. They look like the shape of soundproof foam. Sound isolating foam, but they're obviously not foam. But I guess the same principle, right? Because it, like, it's, uh, it's a hiss. It is kind of a sound. It's a resonance. It's a frequency. It makes sense that it would be in the same shape as noise isolating foam. pretty cool. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Restart the punch card terminals and then activate the HRA machine. Yeah, now we can examine a lot more stuff. Let's get all the punch cards first. We need to find all the punch cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, how many punch cards did we pick up? Wasn't that like four? This shows this shows two that are uncrossed off. Uh, this is number three. Start with number one, I suppose. Oh, are we missing a card? Why, no, I have not. Now we have them all. So once again, those two are shown as 
working, I guess. It could be that this is saying the first terminal needs to have that card, second terminal nothing, third terminal nothing, fourth terminal this, perhaps? Wait, these aren't the same. The ones on this whiteboard and the other one, are they? Yeah, they're not the same. I think... It looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. This one's the same. But that one is different. What about this one? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to assume it's just showing which one is the right one for each slot. But this one shows this being in the fourth slot. Doesn't this one show something else being in the fourth slot? Yes, it does. Well, the problem could be resolved if we pay attention to that arrow and swap it with the place that it points to. Then this one wouldn't be in the fourth slot, it'd be in the fifth. But wait, is there five terminals? Isn't there only four? Oh. Huh, fifth one's down here. Would have expected the fifth one or the first one to be up there, not number four. Anyway, yeah, so number one has that. Try different combinations. One of them has to work. I got it. Oh, it shows on it that it's confirmed. So number five is that one. These look like they're both swapped with each other. So number two has the center completely filled. And then number three has a really small one. And then final one at number four. Just to double check that this does make sense. So this one, the first one shows the same one as the other one. Uh, but for number four, it shows that thing, which should be what we have left. And it is. Shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prison, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large-scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's... That's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out.
Here, this will lead back to central research. Always creeps me out when we see those weird cutscenes of important characters just kind of standing in some weird void. It feels odd. Okay. I wish I said on the map what level the different areas were. Because there's a couple of question marks up near the top. I don't remember if those could be gotten into with level 4 security clearance. Ooh, we're at a control point. Let's spend our abilities. Oh, if I keep getting my launch strength up, I'll be able to launch large objects. Some of the ones I launched already I would consider large, so I'm really curious about that. Launch basic enemies launch large enemies when their health is low and then right after just one ability point i'll be able to launch large objects oh i totally didn't look at this shield strength when released shield propels debris at nearby enemies ah so kind of like an aoe thing that could be useful the shield strength i don't really care about i really don't care about the shield very much at all but launching out like a huge shotgun in all directions while holding shield, use evade to rush at enemies and knock them back. That sounds cool. Wait, hypnosis lab? It's not even locked. I just didn't go in here. Should I start things off? Maybe not. Maybe I just won't do anything. See it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. trying to match. I guess I need to go find it. Perhaps it's on the... M oh, that's gotta be it. Let's just take them all out, I think. They're really creeping me out. Oh. I thought the others would wake up. They've kind of got green over their heads. Actually, does that mean they're not... 
They're not his? I mean, that face looks pretty fucked up. I don't think that's a normal person. No. <laughs> they are his. And surely they're going to attack me. As soon as I grab the object or whatever. I don't know. I'll leave him. All sides filled in and the top is super filled in. to complete the challenge. So that's our new ability. I was expecting it to tell me how to use seize. Enemies at low health can be seized. I saw that it was at low health and I could have done something there, but I just shot it again. Oops. So I gotta go for the non-gold ones and seize them and then I might be able to do something. Oh, Jesus. Is it not low enough? They'll fight alongside us. Okay. So they can be damaged by the gray ones. were fried when I took over the object. 